This ask mic comes from a lot of people and they're asking about how to integrate or do you integrate drills into your practice swing on the golf course. Well, here's the reality. I've been playing this game for a long time and I'm gonna do my practice swing. So if I was gonna hit this ball, here, here would be my practice swing. Now I just did three drills. Now, once you find a drill that helps you, you want to incorporate that drill into your practice swing. That's what tour players do. Everybody's doing that. So for me, there were three drills that really helped me. One was called a front loader drill, where you put the club out in front of you where you want it to be on your follow through, and then you just let the club swing back and you let the momentum of the club go and you just kind of follow it back and it gives you kind of a sense of where your swing needs to be back here. So letting the club swing, with no tension, the momentum of the club kind of makes your backswing work. And if you get the momentum of the club going, it's unlikely that you're going to get the momentum swinging back here and all of a sudden right there yank it some funny direction. So I really like that drill. So for a while I just put the club out and I just swing it back and there was my practice swing. And then I got working with Joe Nichols and we did this hinge drill where I hinged the club and swung and that hinge drill helped me get my hands where I wanted it right here. So I practiced for a long time, hinge the club, swing and hit. So then I incorporated, I'd hinge the club, I'd put it out in front of me, then I'd swing it back and hit. So now I got two drills involved. Now the more I played, I also found that I really needed to get this right hip out of the way. So there was a drill where you dropped your right foot back and you hit balls with your right foot drop back and it gives you a feel for how to get this hip out of the way. So here's what I did. Three drills together. So here's my practice swing now. I get my grip and then I, I leverage my wrist exactly the way I want them to work up here. So I hinge my wrist and I put the club out in front of me and then as I swing the club back I drop my right foot back which gets my hip out of the way and I swing. So I'm doing one, two, three, boom. Now that's my practice swing, every swing. That practice swing has three drills in it. Now when you watch tour players, almost every one of them, as they're sitting there taking the club back or making swings, they're doing drills. So if you find a drill that helps you, you want to do it on every practice swing. Why wouldn't you? I mean, I, I don't understand when people ask me, so how often should I do this? Every time you make a practice swing because you're trying to give yourself a feel for what you want your swing to do. So for sure, if you find a drill that helps, you should be doing it over and over and over again. You don't just do it on the range and then you don't do it on the golf course. Integrate your practice swings or your drills into your practice swing on the golf course.